Hi students, welcome to CIS 234 Graphic Technology Applications. Um, this is your final portfolio class. Um, many of you um, are looking forward to graduating the graphic design program. This year we obviously have a strange crisis occurring at the same time with COVID-19. Um, I just want to let you know that this course is now fully virtual. Um, if you haven't already um, gathered that from some of the emails that have gone out, but I wanted to let you know that not much has changed at all, other than the fact that our, our course and our term will be um, extended an additional week. Um, I'm not sure if that shows up in the system yet, but we will we will work together um, in, as we navigate these weird waters um, dealing with this. I know some of the students, you would all be available normally at 3 p.m. on Tuesdays. But with new um, expectations, maybe your maybe some of you have kids and you have to be home to watch them. Maybe some of your, your work hours have changed due to what's happening. Um, this course is not expecting that you have 3 to 6 p.m. every Tuesday available. So I just want to, this video really is supposed to help you just understand the basics of the course and what's to be expected. And of course, each week I'm going to hold a um, an asynchronous meeting, um, which you can certainly join me, It's then it would be synchronous. But please know that I will also record that and then upload it for you to revisit. Maybe it would answer some questions you might have. So if you don't have um, Adobe Creative Cloud, this is something that you want to focus on first and foremost in this class. Most of you already have it because um, being this is what you want to do with your career. Um, it's something that you've put as a priority or you're able to obtain. Um, I understand that there are some discounts and I provided that link for all of you here, the Adobe Creative Cloud discounts for students at the JC. Here we've got JC on the hub and it ends up being $19.99 a month. Um, also, there is a free trial. So for some of you that feel that um, you can get done everything you need to get done in the two to four weeks of the free trial, and then you can focus on doing your website the other three to four weeks, um, I would say go for it. Utilize a free trial if you don't have access to Adobe. However, you'd want to get that in the near future just to update your pieces, to remain relevant. It's really important. So um, here's the link for you, and hopefully, um, Hopefully that will do. Those of you in the 3D program who have joined and are substituting this course, I want to make sure that you know that Adobe is not required. You will be focusing on just screen captures and Blender, um, bringing forth some pictures of the modeling work that you've done in the past um, to integrate into your digital website. So that doesn't apply to you. Um, one of the things I want to showcase is the course expectations. This, for example, will help you just understand what's expected. We have crit checks. These are critique checks. Um, our first one's week two or unit two, um, and it's 25 points for each one. There are five of them. And what we're going to do is we're going to be just, I'm going to pull this over here. I'll show you what that is. We go down here, each crit check. Um, this one's not due till the April 5th. Um, all you do is submit whatever work that you've completed at that time. Um, what, and then you get 25 points for the status update. So each week you want to show progress throughout this course, and that's required. That keeps it transparent, keeps me knowing what um, you're doing, and keeps you on your toes as far as um, being able to show uh, substantial progress each and every week throughout the course. There are only five, and this is a seven or eight week course. Um, seven week course so make sure that you are um, on top of that. Just to review what is expected um, not only crit tech, cr the crit checks we'll be doing a logo, a resume, a business card, a biography which is a short statement sort of your about me statement for your website and then you'll do an infographic design. This is something that um, I'll talk about in more detail. Um, it's going to be you choosing a subject matter and you will break it down into various um, graphs. And I believe that um, 
it's going to be the evolution of industry trends and graphic design. So it doesn't all, not everybody has to do the exact same approach, but that's the subject, um, is the evolution of industry trends and graphic design. So within that umbrella, uh, you can be creative and, and do various topics, um, but the subject has to be the um, evolution of industry trends in the design field. Um, for 3D designers, you can focus on 3D, the industry trends in 3D design. Um, you can highlight technology or process or both. Again, the topics can vary, but make sure that that is the, the core focus. Um, so the infographic design has very specific. Um, you're going to be doing it mostly in InDesign. Um, for the 3D people, I'm going to work with you on um, a little bit different approach. Okay, and then portfolio presentations. You're going to be doing a presentation video, and that's going to be worth 150 points. So each week, under this very first area, assignment submissions, graded criteria, you'll have a breakdown of the point structure, and then each week, Tuesdays at 3 o'clock, I'm going to be opening up a big blue button session um, just for students to come in and I'm going to walk you through where you should be at, um, answer any questions, and that will be recorded. And then I'll post the recording within this area as well. But I thought, you know, for some of you who really want um, some direct feedback, especially specific, that isn't just video, um, you know, popping in and being able to collaborate with other people and myself might be a good thing. Our first one will be held Tuesday the 24th and then every Tuesday afterwards at 3 p.m. Um, I think I have it allotted for about an hour. I don't wanna break the jet net memory. So I have it for like an hour, but if, um, we may not even take up that much time, but it's just a nice way for us to still communicate uh, virtually and synchron synchronously. And then I'll be able to post the, the link within here for those who can't make it. Okay, the next thing I want you to know, the crit checks, the first one's due on um, April 5th. April 5th, I believe, is a Sunday. That is correct. And so you have till April 5th to sort of um, give me an update. And if you look in here, it tells me you want to at least um, choose your portfolio pieces, set up your College Central Network profile, you should be creating your logo, creating your professional design resume, your business card, and a bio. So just show me status. So for each one of these, I want to see status and some progress. So for if you have status and progress for each and every critique check, um, that would be great. Let me see. Critique check three. Yeah, show progress. And then, of course, nearing the end, um, you're going to want to be completing these projects. So each week you show progress and just post. It could be whether it be an overview, I've completed this, or you can show me like drafts of things within this link. Just upload a PDF or a screen capture about um, what you've been doing for that particular week. So again, um, April 5th through the very final week, May 3rd. You can you can update me each week on your progress and you will get 25 points for updating me um, each week for a total of 125 points for the crit checks. Okay so a place for you to meet with me, a place to show progress, and then the submission links. Um, this does seem like a lot of work and it is. Um, I know a lot of you are already working on a logo resume. I notice a spelling error. I have to fix that. <laughs> so logo, resume, business card, and bio. That's worth a big chunk of your grade, 175 points. These are the promo materials. A lot of you are already working on um, a logo and um, a business card in the printing class. If that's the case, please utilize what you're already working on in that class and also use it for this class. It's a great time to double your efforts and to maybe you improve upon what you've already created 
um, and, but those promo materials are super important, but it's really great if you already have a head start, which I know many of you do for the CIS 230 uh, practicum and printing course. Okay, so logo, business card, resume, bio. Infographic design. Your selections are just a list. The College Central Network is something you create a profile on there. You can do the resume on the College Central Network. Um, Heather Marshall, our career services uh, coordinator, will be working with each of you to improve your resume on that network. And it also is a job hub, hub for searching for positions and internships. Um, and it's a great way to get you yourself out there showing what you do and um, if you're graduated employers can actually search for you as well as you for searching for employers through the College Central Network. Um, so I, I really want you all to do that first and foremost and then move on to selecting your portfolio pieces, creating your promotional materials, creating an infographic design, and then finally your digital portfolio website. Um, you'll record a short little video similar to what I'm doing right now, um, and I'm doing this through Screencast-O-Matic. Yeah. So if you go to Screencast-O-Matic, um, towards the end of the term, I'll have a, a helpful video. I'm also going to post some helpful videos on creating your digital portfolio. Um, so those few videos will help you. They're tutorials. They'll help you be able to create your portfolio and also record it on video. Um, walking me th through what you've uploaded and what you've done for your portfolio for this course. Okay, I hope this has been helpful for you so far, but that is really the gut of the work in the assignment submissions and the graded criteria. The forms and collaboration, each crit check, and I believe we have five, not four, so I'm going to duplicate that. So each crit check will be a great way for all of you to collaborate. If necessary. This is just optional. Um, and then the digital portfolio website link, that is required. Um, and I will make note of that as well. It's required. You want to share that with your peers. Each of you want, can visit each other's websites and provide each other with a, um, within this forum a little feedback. Resources. So important for this class. This up here, the great resources links, is just really um, one of the best it gives you everything needed, you know, going to Wix, going to Weebly, um, some career research site, sites. Some examples are hard copy portfolios. If you want to do a hard copy portfolio, it's not required for my class. Um, student design contests, logo inspiration, resume help, my YouTube channel, logo development, inspiration. Stock photos for uh, agency for vector, stock photo agency for fo photographs, career coach link at JC, map cutting tutorials, important if you're going to do a hard copy portfolio at some point, again, not required. Uh, my portfolio sites, I believe one of these may not be working. I think I was updating it at some point and I lost the URL, so I'll update this for you guys. Um, Acrobat portfolios, how to create an Acrobat portfolio, um, starting with InDesign, and then critique guidelines, how to give constructive criticism without being a jerk. So here I have um, all the things you need, resources, your collaboration with your peers, and then us getting together each week, status updates, final submissions. Really building your portfolio digitally is really critical to be successful in the field. Um, if there's anything I can do to help um, throughout this process, that's what I'm here for. So let me know. We can schedule weekly one-on-one -on -one appointments if you need. Um, I have my commute time that I used to drive to Jackson um, free now. So, you know, it really does help save on some time. I'm happy to meet with, with any one of you. Uh, my time is about up here, and I am posting this video for you to become more comfortable with the workflow in this class. Um, I will probably post weekly videos as we go. Take care.